Today I will try to bring back to life the Wi-Fi connection on my drone. After it dropped into water, Wi-Fi stopped working and thus I cannot connect to the drone via my smartphone. There are two boards inside and I bought this Wi-Fi board which comes with the camera and after I replace it I expect to be able to connect to the drone via my phone and be able to see the picture from the drone while flying. There are two boards and the main board is bigger and it has green and red colors depending on your model. I read in the comments that some people replaced the main board in the in the drone and it did not work. I also looked online for those boards and I saw that they sell two types and one of them is red one and it says if you have a green board in your drone you cannot replace it with the red one and I was not able to find the green one and as for the Wi-Fi board I bought a 720 pixel camera just to see if it will work on my drone normally my drone from the beginning came with 1080 pixel camera but I think this should work I'm just replacing a module which will work with a lower resolution camera but still will provide me the Wi-Fi connection to be able to connect to the drone via an app from the smartphone so let's see how we do it the detailed demonstration on how to disassemble the drone can be found in my previous videos and this video I'll just quickly rewind through the process and see if it will work in the end or not. So we have here this board and you see that there is a difference. Uh, I remember in the comments people were asking why they don't have SIM cards on it. And this is why we now can say that some boards don't have SIM cards. This is a 720 pixel camera and it is supposed to be recording directly to your smartphone because it's not a lot of data transfer so the speed for the Wi-Fi on the drone is probably enough to record it to the smartphone and it's actually safer because if you hit the drone on or, or lose the drone you will still keep the video on your phone with the 1080 pixels uh, you have the SIM card slot here because the Wi-Fi speed here is not enough to record 1080 pixel video directly to your phone it usually gets interrupted it's uh, if you have 1080 pixel camera you would better record it to the sim card although it's not safe because if something happens to the drone you you may lose the videos if the recording process gets interrupted now when i connected the main board and then I can insert the battery and it touches the contacts with this board I will be able to check if uh, the drone works and we turn on the remote control we synchronize it so it works factory calibration works headless mode works and uh, now we'll check if the Wi-Fi signal works so we connected the Wi-Fi module with the camera and see if it works and I can see this network here and I think it's this one now it's connected we're turning on the application and yes it works as you can see the camera works so although my drone in the beginning had a 1080 pixel camera the model was 720 pixel camera works and Wi-Fi is back and let's try to fly this with an app the Wi-Fi is on we turn on the controls we turn on the more detailed controls 
and we'll just try to fly now using the gyroscope we have to keep the phone like this to be control the, the drone with my sensor and my smartphone so let's go up and as you can see it flies so the app works fine everything works correctly and let's go back down and we also need to check whether the video works if we turn on the video you can see that it is recording and then we'll check if it has any file on it going to this part videos and you can see that there is a video actually which is green I've also checked the pictures and it's taking correctly if we go to the folders we still see pictures so I've taken three of them the pictures are working videos are still green maybe it's because the app doesn't have access to my folder let's go directly to the folders so in my photos folder if I go directly through the phone I can see the same problem so the screen is green well I don't get upset about that because my aim was to bring back the Wi-Fi connection and the ability to see from the drone the picture to be able to fly it with my app but the 720 pixel camera is not a good choice anyways it's not of a very good quality it's good to fly the drone from the app or using the remote control and to see where and how it's flying just for control purposes otherwise uh, I would say that if you uh, from the beginning bought the certain configuration and something breaks down stick to that configuration don't try to install modules with a different configuration